Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Donna Reese, and I'm joined now by Dr. Julie Stackhuth. Julie's going to present one of our CMRG trials that involves a new drug, a monoclonal antibody, Belamap, that's given in combination with the more common backbone of pomalidomide and dexamethasone. So Dr. Trudell, our, our very own Canadian Dr. Trudell, presented this study, which builds upon the backbone of a Bellamap, which is a monoclonal antibody that's conjugated with the toxin, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce what the toxin is, in, in two parts. The first part of the study was really trying to look at the appropriate dose and the appropriate administration schedule when combined with pomalidomide and dexamethasone. And once they were able to find uh, the relevant dose and the appropriate administration schedule, the plan was to proceed on to the second part of the study. This, the abstract that she presented, really looked at the results of the first part of the study, the dose finding. What do you think are the important takeaways from this experience? Well, you know, I think that in, in this patient population, I, I was really excited about the uh, ability to combine this, uh, this drug, uh, which is the antibody drug conjugate, uh, with the mechanism of action of pomalidomide uh, and to see where that takes us. I, I think that what we ran into in this study is the keratopathy. It, it certainly at the 2.5 milligram per kilogram dose looked to be very effective with very impressive VGPR rates or better but the keratopathy seemed to be a bit limiting, uh, both in terms of uh, the eye pain uh, and uh, consequences to patients that they actually recognize and the keratopathy that the ophthalmologists recognize as well. And so I think that uh, according to Dr. Trudell, we're going back to the drawing board a little bit to see if the 2.5 milligram per kilogram dose could be given on a different schedule, such as every eight or 12 weeks, uh, that might limit the side effects, but still continue on with the impressive uh, response rates that we're seeing. I, I agree. This is a very potent drug, and it's a matter of finding the balance between the best way to give it and the less frequent administration may find that sweet spot as this trial moves forward. What do you think the implications for the practicing hematologist in Canada are at this time? Well, I think right now it's probably too soon to tell. We, we do have Bellamaf as a single agent available compassionately, so I think it's, it's at least giving us a little bit of practice with the drug and even setting up some of the ophthalmology networks that we might need uh, when this drug actually comes to fruition. Whether or not the pomalidomide and dexamethasone is the best backbone, or as Dr. Trudell mentioned, there's lots of other studies looking at Bellamaf in conjunction with a lot of the other uh, immune agents, uh, that likely will prove to be exciting as well. But I think that this is kind of our first foray into uh, Bellamaf, an antibody drug conjugate, with a backbone that we're used to using. And um, if we can find the right administration schedule, I'm uh, eagerly anticipating the results. And just a final word, we've had quite extensive experience in Canada with different uh, Bellamaf trials. And even as a single agent, it can be very effective. And I think we are fortunate in having a special access program that we can procure this drug in selected patients even before Health Canada approval. Mm -hmm. I agree. Thank you, Julie. My pleasure.